far did we Kyle? Just went to the local shops to grab some lunch along the way. That's a weird looking fish. Uh huh. It's got a big curl on it. Cameron, what are you doing? It is packed here today, absolutely packed with all the Christmas shoppers. How crazy is it here Kyle? Crazier than crazier. Crazy as an alien? Is that what you said? Crazier than alien. As anything? As alien. I don't know what that means. Alien. I have no idea what that word means. And I don't know it. Yummy chips. Yummy Cameron. So the boys got chips and chips, which is Carl's favourite. He calls it chips and fish. And I've got my salad. But it's nuts in here. So we've just come out of the shops and that was crazy in there, Kyle. Yeah. And yeah, her right. feet. He yeah. fell down in the shops. Did you slip on the floor? <laughs> you slipped hard, kiddo. You alright? Yeah. I'm looking alright. So he slipped as he went down on the floor and it hurt. And then the rocket came up and hit me. <laughs> but he got up. Show us your cranky face. Show us your happy face. Show us your sad face. <laughs> so funny. He came out of the bathroom before because he had to go to the toilet again. And he made the weirdest face. Wish I had the camera go on then. Hey guys, what's up? Everybody okay? Oh, this way. There we are. Everybody having a good time? No. <laughs> Talk to me. What are you doing with my video camera? Um, taking a video. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, no? somebody's throwing out a tea table. Throwing out a tea table? Oh, oh a no. coffee table. Oh no, they, um, those tea, coffee. Tea stuff? Oh, um, those tea stuff? Um, tea set. Tea set? Coffee. Dinner set. Dinner set. A little um, side table. A foot. That was a little side table, babe. Um, whatever you put your legs on and this rest your legs on. I think it's a foot do you? Yeah, I could have first. Okay, now we are on the way. What did I forget? Key. Yeah, I had to go back and get our older son's car um, house keys. I had forgotten the house keys. Luckily, we had decided to stop for lunch. Yes, now we have them. Luckily, we had decided to stop for lunch, and luckily, we hadn't got out of Wollongong when I went. Oh, oh, we need the house keys. So yeah, it's just made my day really late. I'm gonna have fun now. Really good. You like them? Uh-huh. Can I use them for today? Good that I found them, hey. Uh -huh. These sunnies are awesome. Awesome sunnies. But are they girl sunnies or? Yep, they are girl sunnies. Ah! But you look good with them. You could wear them. What are you going to be when you're older? I'm not a bit. I got this catch. Um, pretty much kind of a superhero guy. You're going to be a superhero guy. Kind of. Oh. Like I um, put out fires and... Oh. ...exo people and... thought you wanted to work with animals. Well, pretty much I... ...recto people means recto animals. Oh, okay. And that. Okay, sounds good. Can't wait to see what you're going to be when you're older. But can you stay young forever? Um, no. <laughs> but I'll still be cute when I grow up. Yes, that I agree with. You still be cute when you grow up. So we arrived in the afternoon at Hayden's place. And then I had to go do shopping at Audi and grab some stuff. And now I am making a mess again. No. I'm making Rocky Road again. I made so many Rocky Roads for all the hampers that I gave away. I'm actually making Rocky Road for the family now so we can have it on Christmas Day and I'm going to leave it here in the freezer so that I know that it will not be touched by my boys. Hey Cameron. Cameron. Boo. 
won't get any words out of him. Hey, Kyle, do you want to turn the Christmas lights on? Cameron, Kyle's tired. You tired, baby? Are you at a sore head again? Hmm? You had a headache? And we've got some gifts already wrapped and under the tree. So the lights are on. Thank you, babe. What's the matter with your head? You got a headache? Well, you need some water then, darling. The heat got to you. It was really, really, really hot. And it was hot driving, like the aircon was on, but you could still feel the heat behind it, like through the car. Does that make sense? You could still feel like it was really, really hot out there. And it's draining. Like I'm really tired and I've not done anything. Like I've only driven to Sydney and been shopping, but I've not done a huge amount of things and I am exhausted. An elevator. On a game. Yeah. Oh. Red Alice Raptors. I'll do that in Minecraft if I get to. Babe, you need to have some water. It's Drink up. Ah, uh, horse stable. Baby, baby boo. Drink up. Yeah. Cameron, you're going to eat your mushrooms? Going to eat your mushrooms, ah, Cameron? Cameron, you going to eat your mushrooms? For the rocky road. I just want to show you how easy this is. I found it on another blogger. It's just so easy. It's marshmallows. You just chop into fours. Then you add the cranberries. You just pour them straight in out from the bag. And then it's two different nuts. Um, now I can't remember the nuts. I'm going to leave the link underneath here. Anyway, and you can check out the blog post. But it's two different nuts. Pistachios and almonds, I think it is. What's the other one? Macadamias. That's it. Macadamias. Um, I just guessed how much needed to go in because I had a big bag that I grabbed from the fruit and veg department. So it didn't have an actual measurement. I'm just guessing how much needs to go in. And then I just chop them up roughly and pop them in. Then you just pour the chocolate over it once it's melted. Which won't take long. And then you just freeze it like you put it into the baking dish with lined paper and then you pop it into the fridge and then you take it out and cut it into tiny, tiny, tiny squares. Don't go doing big squares. It's very, very rich. It has got two lots of 200 grams of white chocolate. It is so, so rich. You do not need much. But gee whiz, if I can make this and it tastes yummy, then anybody can make this. So I've added the melted chocolate to the marshmallow mixture. Got coconut, marshmallows, cranberries, and nuts, and then the white chocolate. And you must press down firmly so you're able to cut it when it's set because you leave it in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. And it will. Yeah. What will it do? Set. 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 So I can cut it into squares. Cut it into very small squares for Christmas Day. So that's the before product. Now it's going into the very, very big cold fridge. I wish my oldest son was here to enjoy it. And then I'm going to leave it in the freezer until Christmas Day. Sorry, couldn't turn the camera. I'm going to leave it until Christmas Day because that way I know that the boys haven't eaten it. Because they'll eat it if I take it home with me. I had trouble. Well, I didn't have trouble, but when I made the gift baskets up for family and friends, I had to keep telling them, I've counted the bags, I know how many is in each one, don't touch them until I gift them away. Because I gift, I gave to, I did gift baskets to, who did I do them to? My mum, the caravan park owners, because they're gorgeous people that run the caravan park. Um... Oh my goodness me, I had a mind blank. David's boss and his wife and children, I did a massive big Christmas plate up, it's so beautiful and I didn't take a video, I'm kicking myself. And then to um, Nicholas is our 14 year old's girlfriend's family. So I've done four of them so far. And
And yeah, I wanted to make sure that we've got some today made for Christmas. So now I'm going to make coconut ice. And this is an easy, easy, easy recipe as well. It's the AWD. A W W school cooking school for kids. So it's a woman's weekly cooking school for kids. My boys have had this for years. And this coconut ice recipe is so damn easy. You just need icing sugar, coconut, sweetened condensed milk, can of it, vanilla extract, and pink food coloring. So that's really easy. So I'm trying to be really, trying to be really, really quiet because the boys are asleep already. Just jumped out of a bath and I'm going to bed. Had a great day, been too, too hot in the car, but I made the coconut ice and then I made the oh, Christmas it's Rocky Road. So I've um, got two lots of goodies in the freezer, ready to go for Christmas Day. Hopefully no one touches them before then because I'll be really cranky <laughs> if they do <laughs> because I want to make sure everybody gets to taste how yummy they are. And in the morning we are going to clean up the unit, put the sheets back on his bed because I've washed them and then we'll head home and then hopefully Sunday I can go shopping. Yes, I'm going to do Christmas shopping on a Sunday. Go figure. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about our motorhome or the way we live our life, just pop them on down below the video or you can jump onto our Facebook page or Twitter page and follow us there. So thanks guys, give us a thumbs up. Brave enough to face the Sydney crazy traffic. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye.